As we approach the end of 2021, the Tri-City condo market is showing signs of slowing down. Low inventory continues to be a huge problem, and we had record low amounts of inventory through September, and this continues to be the case through October. The number of new listings is down 7% month over month, and down 11% year over year. The number of sales is also down 6% when we compare it to September this year, and we are also down 12% when we compare it to October of 2020. The average amount of active listings is up 4% compared to September, however, we are down 43% from October in 2020. The average sale price in Guelph and Cambridge both went up 10 and 4% respectively, however, Kitchener and Waterloo didn't come out as strong where their average sale price went down 9 and 7% respectively. Prices will continue to trend upwards as we approach the end of 2021. However, we will likely see less and less amounts of inventory as we approach the end of the year. We'll likely see interest rates go up much faster than we previously anticipated. They'll likely go up a quarter basis point as we approach the end of the year, and they'll continue to trend up throughout 2022. Now, a common question that I get asked is, Rahul, should buyers hold back, wait for prices to come down, and then purchase? I say no. Canada just has way too much debt, and quite frankly, it's not just the government that has large amounts of debt. Many of these large corporations are struggling to pay off just their interest payments, let alone any debt. So this is placing an enormous amount of pressure on the Bank of Canada to keep interest rates as low as possible for as long as possible. They'll likely go up enough to slow the market down, but not enough to bring prices down. That's it for the Guelph and Tri-City condo market update video for the month of October. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for November's report. My name is Rahul Luthra with Go Wild Real Estate at Remax. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.